Do you recall the talks about two years ago of paid applications on Flathub? Since then, they have updated their site layout and allowed there to be a donate button directly on the listing, but this isn't something that Flathub is directly involved in. This is just a link to whatever external platform they want to use, in this case being Coffee, but it could be PayPal, GitHub sponsors, Patreon, a personal website, or anything else they want it to be. But this is not the final goal. This was just like a good stopgap and something that should be here, but the initial plan was a lot more than this, an actual payment system built into Flathub where if you want to download a certain application, if an app wants it to be like that, you would pay for the application. Obviously, most things wouldn't be like this because most people just want free distribution of their applications, but if they wanted to do something like Critter on Steam or other things like that where, yes, it's open source, yes, you can grab the binary for free elsewhere, but if you want to support the project, here is a way to do so, that's not a thing you can do on Flathub today. But they want to do it. And just the other day, Robert McQueen posted the Flathub forums, Request for Proposals, Flathub Program Management. They are looking for someone to make this actually happen. The GNOME Foundation, in partnership with KDE EV, is bootstrapping Flathub LLC to become a self-sustaining entity. They are seeking a contractor to help with program management, financial such legal setup, and public outreach to bootstrap the LLC. Now before I say the goals, keep in mind the funding is relatively small. It is a budget of $12,000 for an expected duration of three months of part-time work. Individual hourly rates are not to exceed $55 US dollars per hour. If you want to go run the math yourself, go ahead and do so, but that works out to be about 18, 19 hours a week. So there's quite a bit of work to be done with that in mind. The program manager will focus on these key objectives. Launch payment and donation systems for applications and Flathub itself. Now that might sound a lot more like a developer position rather than a manager, but it is clarified a bit later that the code itself is pretty much just done. It's all the stuff surrounding the payment system that needs to be done, you know, setting up Stripe and ensuring there's a governance model and all that sort of stuff to make it so the LLC actually functions. Establish operational governance for Flathub LLC. Basically, ensure there is a model that the LLC can function after your short-term contract is over. Coordinate financial and legal operations. Basically, catch all for deal with the paperwork of setting up the organization, and ensure community engagement and transparency. This is one of the areas that I feel like basically every single FOSS organization completely falls apart on. I've discussed it before, but why is it that the GNOME Foundation, the KDE EV, or most of the others don't actually reach out to people when they have some big announcement. Don't try to put their big promotion, their big donation drive, anything like that, in front of people that can actually get it out to people that might want to hear it. And not just like the five people that reshare it on Mastodon or Blue Sky, but actually have large audiences and can actually share it. Now, it's going to be found, right? It's going to be posted by someone on Reddit. It's going to get a bit of attention. And eventually, it's going to make its way to me, the Linux experiment, DistroTube, or anyone else. But, like, why is it that companies like Collabora and System76 understand this very well? Putting together, not, like, a custom press release, but, like, the press release you are already going to release, and then just sending it to the people that have the ability to share it. Actually, this post is a prime example. Why are you trying to do a job hiring from the Flathub forums, not sending it out to people that can actually share it out? I think there was like a reshare on the Fediverse as well, where I guess it got like 80 reposts or something. Someone then grabbed it and put it on r slash Linux. It got more attention from that, but like, 
how is it so difficult to just like contact people? Everyone's email that you want to contact is public. Like, this is very, very simple. Like, sure, I get the idea of grassroots marketing, but like, <laughs> you don't just have to do that, right? Like, the people in the FOSS world are more than happy to remote things for free. You don't have to pay anyone. You just have to send them the link and then they'll know about it. Anyway, that was a bit of a side tangent. These key objectives are expanded upon in the project objectives. One, oversee development of payment systems for applications and direct donations to FlatHub operating costs. Basically, you're not actually writing the code yourself, you're just being a manager. Two, finalize governance documents and convene a simple governing body for FlatHub with representatives from GNOME, KDE, and the FlatHub community. Yes, I know there's this idea, and if you go to, uh, if you go to FlatHub, um, let's, let's see. So, uh, Libid Waiter, Libid Waiter, Libid Waiter, Libid Waiter, Libid Waiter, Libid Waiter. I think we're back to start. Yeah, uh, click this one. Not Libid Waiter! Okay, impressive. Libid Waiter. Libid Waiter. Not Libid Waiter! Okay, wow, we're actually doing pretty good today. Wow, that is genuinely impressive. OBS is definitely not Libid Waiter, but there is a lot of applications on FlatHub that are Libid Waiter apps. The platform isn't supposed to be the GNOME distribution platform. There is also supposed to be, like, KD representation here as well. Three, establish and manage bank and Stripe payment processing accounts. Four, finalize and launch terms of use and developer agreements. Five, coordinate handling of accounting, operations and expenses with the GNOME Foundation. And six, ensure transparency through clear communications and documentation for the community. And the kind of things they're looking for are what you would expect. You're used to dealing with contracts. You're used to dealing with accounting and basic economic management. You have a track record of establishing cross-organizational processes, meaning you know how to talk to people and deal with organizations. You have experience working with volunteer communities and coordinating technical work, and you have fundraising and communication abilities. Once again, I just said communication ability based twice there. Um, this all sounds like quite a bit of work. It's not actually as bad as initially would seem. So I don't disagree there's a bunch of work to do, but it's more coordination and management than doing a lot from scratch. The legal agreements are drafted. They need reviewing slash finalizing. The code for payments is ready. It needs a Stripe account and a rollout plan. The governance thing doesn't need to be crazily complex. It just needs someone to make sure it happens and record slash publish the minutes, etc. And raising more funds for FlatHub itself as part of the work is a great idea. Maybe a fundraiser slash drive on FlatHub itself could be a way to test out Stripe integration for the first time and have people make accounts. Open to suggestions from whoever applies and how their prioritize things in their plan. But the budget is what we have to start with right now. And this is not from the post, but a separate email exchange from a friend of mine. First question, is it planned for FlatHub LLC to remain an entity owned by the GNOME Foundation? Because GNOME already acts as a fiscal host for FlatHub in terms of receiving donations and infrastructure costs, establishing the LLC was the simplest move to protect GNOME from any compliance risk or liability from handling end-user software distribution and payments. By GNOME being the single member of the LLC, it will also be tax-exempt unless we elect to separate it. Two. If not, and if it is split, will the entity be run as a non-profit? Will governance be open or limited to a specific set of projects? Having the separate LLC allows us to handle transitions without disrupting the operations of FlatHub, i.e. we can move Stripe slash bank accounts, supplies, etc. all at once should GNOME need to divest for some reason. The ownership structure is different to governance, however. We're planning to establish a light board structure with some representatives from different communities, e.g. FlatHub, GNOME, and KDE. At present, especially when starting up, I am prioritizing transparency over more complicated membership, representation, election structures, but we can evolve that over time. FlatHub is a bit of a weird beast because all service slash infrastructure our community of app developers doesn't necessarily correlate to having a strong capability or interest in operating the service, so membership slash elections 
doesn't immediately make sense to me. Three, how involved with this Flat Hub organization be in the governance of the Flat Pack project as a whole, XDG portals, so on and so forth. No plans to involve Flat Pack or portals governance in this at the moment. Depending on financial capacity, there might be scope for Flat Hub to invest in Flat Pack tooling to improve the developer experience. And four, will proprietary applications be able to accept payments or only FOSS? We will allow any verified app to require payments or solicit donations, but we will charge a market rate for proprietary apps, e.g. 30%, and cross-subsidize FOSS apps, e.g. 10%. So basically the Steam cut, unless you're a FOSS application. Now, the reason why they're taking a cut and not just taking, you know, the payment fees for Stripe or whatever other systems they might use in the future is the goal of this is not just to have donations and a payment system built into FlatHub, but to make it so FlatHub is a self-sustaining organization. So it's not being funded by the GNOME Foundation, by the KDEV, by donations from users, that it can actually be something that exists on its own. I am very curious to see if this, firstly, is actually going to get finished in a three-month plan. Secondly, actually, probably firstly, um, they're going to find someone to fill the role. I hope they do, because this is something that they've been planning to do for quite a while now. And... I don't know, I, I think it's a good idea to have the ability to have paid applications because you can say, oh, well, I don't like the idea of paid applications, but when we're talking about things that are FOSS, it's going to be available in other locations as well. And it's not like the GNOME suite is going to go paid or the KDE suite is going to go paid. But if somebody wants to have a paid application, there are already means they can go ahead and do so. So having another one, at least in my books, isn't necessarily a bad thing. It can become a bad thing if everything goes behind a paywall, but unless there is a massive shift in the ethics of the FOSS world, I don't see that becoming the mainstream thing to do. But what do you think? Do you think having a payment system built into FlatHub is a good idea? Or do you think this is a slippery slope and things are going to go horrible? I'd love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, the Libero Pay, linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and the flattest of hubs.